Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about production planning and control (PPC). So let's start the video. Production planning and control. What we mean by this? What are the various steps? What is the concept of production planning and control? Right. So uh, the very first is production planning, and then in the later part of the video, we'll be discussing production control, and then we'll be joining it. Right. So production planning. It is just exactly plan your work. It lays down the foundation of the pr uh, production, which translates sales forecast into production plans. हम sales forecast को production plans में convert करने हैं. Say for example, मुझे at the end of the year I need to produce ten thousand units of product X. So what are my product production plans that will be taking care into this particular production planning? कितना raw material चाहिए होगा? अगर एक साल में एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर आई नीड टू गो फॉर ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड यूनिट्स तो मुझे हर महीने फोर्थ नाइटली बेसिस पर आफ्टर एवरी क्वार्टर आफ्टर एवरी वीक हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स आई नीड टू प्रोड्यूस दैट वी मीन बाय दिस पर्टिकुलर लाइन राइट इट इज जस्ट द थिंकिंग फेज ऑफ द प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस नो एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ द वर्क इज बींग कैरियड आउट ओनली वी आर डूइंग प्लानिंग वी आर प्लानिंग एक्चुअली वी आर जस्ट डूइंग दिस इज द थिंकिंग फेज ओनली राइट which means what we are going to do in this we are going to decide the actions that we are going to take in the near future unko abhi hum advance mein discuss kar rahe hain and the, these things include what we are going to produce when we are going to produce where we are going to produce and how we are going to produce as we already know that planning means deciding in advance what we need to do in the future what we are going to do in the future this is mean by planning so simply when you are deciding in advance the various production related activities what need to be produced when need to be produced where and how need to be produced how we are going to produce the uh, finished goods in advance then it is referred as the production planning we are foreseeing we try to foreseeing every step in the process of production in order to avoid all difficulties and inefficiencies that may arise when we are going to actually produce the items when we are going actually for the executing the production processes right so let's see the meaning of production planning it is the process of looking ahead we are going to plan for the future event and anticipating bottlenecks and identifying the steps necessary to ensure a smooth and uninterrupted flow of production what we mean by this that we are looking ahead and we are anticipating few of the challenges we are anticipating the hurdles कि जो भी परेशानियां आगे हमारी प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस में आ सकती हैं वेन वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट दी आंसर ऑफ वॉट नीड टू बी प्रोड्यूस हाउ नीड हाउ इट इज हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस वेन इट इज रिक्वायर्ड वेन वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस एंड वेन यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग आंसर्स टू ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन वंस द आइडेंटिफिकेशन पार्ट वी गेट ओवर वी आर गोइंग टू दी वेरियस स्टेप्स विच आर नेसेसरी टू एंश्योर ए स्मूथ एंड अन इंटरप्रेड फ्लो ऑफ ऑफ production this is just a bit technical language i am using here production planning determines the requirement of material machinery jitne bhi hamare factors of productions hote hain when we are talking about the material machinery main power unke requirement ke bare mein pata karna determining the requirement of various ends that is estimating the various requirement of material main power machinery money and establishes the exact sequence and lays down the time schedule for its completion so there are three things which are important here the first one is the estimation of the various resources determining the various requirement of resources raw material machinery manpower unke beech mein sequence develop karna right and the third one is time table time scheduling for its completion when we are going to produce at what time we are going to complete with the production facilities production of the required raw materials and finished goods right so it actually starts with the process production planning there are four different phases the very first one is estimating the second one is routing the third one is scheduling and fourth one is loading so i'll give a brief idea about in this particular slide then we'll be moving in detail what i mean by estimating routing scheduling uh, loading actually right so estimating means estimating the requirements of different ends here why what we mean by ends is men 
money, material, how many we require actually. Then root deciding the sequence of operation, which operation will be coming first, followed by which particular operation. Say for example, if we are a short manufacturing concern, washing of the cloth will be done at first, then drying will be conducted at second phase, then cutting of the raw piece of cloth, then stitching, then finally finishing and then packing. So what we are going to do in the routine is, we are going to decide the sequence of operation as per their order. Right. And third one is the scheduling. Scheduling means making the timetable at what time when we are going to start, what will be the earliest date, what will be the earliest time we are going to start, how many minutes, how many hours, how many days this particular task will take care, this particular task will be done in that particular time. Kab start hoga, kab complete ho jayega. So making the timetable in that case. And fourth is the loading. Loading means issuing the order for work or assigning. What we are doing? We are just managing the how many people, how many workforce is required, how many machines are required, how many how much resources are required. Of it kisko kis machine ka in charge banana hai, load distribute karna actually, which means which men, which machine is responsible for which particular type of operation which man is responsible for which particular machine so under loading overloading na ho koi hum isko plan karte hain we are not distributing we are not communicating it to the hamare employees hain hamare workers hain abhi hum unko communicate nahi kar rahe hain abhi hum keval plan kar rahe hain right so these four things comes into production planning so we are starting the first one that is estimating estimating actually depends upon three factors one is the demand forecast how much we are going to sell in the market how much demand is there in the market that we will be taking into consideration second one is your orders in hand how much orders in hand we are having from our existing customer or known customers so there are two things kitne orders hamare haath mein hai say for example 100 units abhi hamare paas hai and second one is 500 already hame market mein sell kar sakte hain demand demand hai market mein so total order we will be having is 500 for demand in the market and 100 orders as we have from the existing customers. Right, total becomes 600. Now, third and the most important is production capacity. But mere paas jo plant hai, mere paas jo production requirement hai, mere paas jo production uh, system hai, that gives me the authority or economies of large scale of production ke according. मैं maximum 500 capacity ही produce कर सकता हूँ मैं I cannot go for 600 if I am going for 600 what does it mean पूरा capacity utilize करने के बाद भी I can only go with 500 if I am going for next 100 units so I need to set up a new plant a new machine I need to purchase therefore the third production capacity becomes important दो मेरे पास डिमांड ज़्यादा हो सकती है, ऑर्डर्स ज़्यादा हो सकते हैं, हार्डली मेटर्स। इन दैट केस, इन द थर्ड पॉइंट, नाउ आई नीड टू डिसाइड कि क्या मुझे सेकंड प्लांट या प्रोडक्शन कैपेसिटी के लिए आई शुड बी गोइंग फॉर, और इफ आई नॉट बी गोइंग फॉर, बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ इकोनॉमीज़ ऑफ़ लार्ज स्केल ऑफ़ taking into consideration the production capacity so I'll be restricting myself to producing only 500 units this just for an example these three things will determine the estimated production in quantity may total at the end of the year total at the end of the production jo hum, hum, hum decide kiya hai, usme how many quantities we are going to produce similarly jitni meri finished gets ki quantity hogi that will determine the requirement jo estimation hoga mera मेरे मटेरियल का, लेबर का, मशीन्स का, मनी का, फंड्स का, फॉर एवरीथिंग दैट विल बी डिटरमाइंड बाय दिस थ्री फैक्टर्स, डिमांड इन द मार्केट, ऑर्डर्स फ्रॉम द एक्जिस्टिंग कस्टमर, प्रोडक्शन कैपेसिटी दैट आई एम यूटिलाइजिंग, दैट विल डिफाइन, दैट विल डिटरमाइन द मटेरियल रिक्वायरमेंट, determining the operations to be performed and their sequence so, so it determines what work will be done where and how it will be done it will decide 
कौन कौन से ऑपरेशन हमें करने हैं कैसे होंगे वो असेंबली लाइन के थ्रू होंगे या इंटरमीडिएट प्रोडक्शन सिस्टम के थ्रू होंगे एंड हाउ इट विल बी कैरिड आउट राइट रूटिंग इज द सिलेक्शन ऑफ पाथ और रूट ओवर विच एवरी पीस इट ट्रेवल इन बींग ट्रांसफोर्ट फ्रॉम रॉ मटीरियल टू फिनिश गुड किसी भी रॉ मटीरियल को फिनिश गुड्स में कन्वर्ट होने में वॉट आर दी वेरियस ऑपरेशन दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड किस पाथ को वो फॉलो करेंगे कितने सिक्वेंस इन हुए दैट विल बी डिटरमाइंड अंडर रूटिंग राइट generally these activities are performed in routing say for example determination of the operations required kitne operations hone hain unka sequence kya hoga what will be their sequence lot size kya rahega deciding scrap preparing the route sheet job cards labor cards inspection card etc ye bhi routing ke andar hi jata hai that is all the various activities which are being carried out under the routing process right third point is the scheduling scheduling simply means the preparation of the time table preparation of the time table is again divided into two major parts two major things the first one is why we are going for it it is just to know the total time of a product which will take raw material say finished product mein convert hone mein ek uh, puri conversion process puri transformation process aur pura production process ko how much time it will be taking for a single unit first case and second one is to know the time taken by each activity से फॉर एग्जाम्पल जो कटिंग वाला एग्जाम्पल अभी हमने देखा है कि वॉशिंग में कितना टाइम लग रहा है ड्राइंग में कितना टाइम लग रहा है एवरी इंडिविजुअल एक्टिविटी इज टेकिंग हाउ मच टाइम दैट विल बी डिटरमाइन अंडर स्केड्यूलिंग सो दैट वी कैन कम अप विद द टोटल टाइम रिक्वायर्ड बाय द डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन राइट इन्वॉल्व फिक्सिंग प्रायोरिटीज एंड डिसाइडिंग स्टार्टिंग एंड फिनिशिंग टाइम ऑफ ईच एक्टिविटी एंड सो दैट वी कैन कंपाइल हाउ मच टाइम विल बी रिक्वायर्ड टू कन्वर्ट आर रॉ मटीरियल इन टू finished goods now this point is very important which means whenever we are going to prepare schedules uh, schedule types so type of order and the delivery dates are considered kyun kyunki uh, delivery agar timely nahi hogi if we are not able to finish up with our production as per the dates of the delivery there is no benefit out of it right these are the various types of schedule the first one is the master schedule it is the overall production program of the plant it can be in the form of week it can be in the form of month or it can be quarterly half yearly or yearly breakups again on the basis of sales forecast orders in hand same thing market mein demand kitna hai orders abhi hamare hath mein kitna hai usi ko hum weekly monthly quarterly just time if we are going to have 12000 units as finished goods in the entire year so in monthly it can be 1000 per month we are going to produce so it's a master plan right the second one is your departmental schedule which means the fixes the time period within which a work is to be finished by a particular department a particular individual department is going to complete this transaction in order to avoid dependency so one department one work is going to finish then only it can be transferred to the second department and third one is the daily operation schedule which means it indicates the time required to perform each detailed operation on each job in each department now this is also known as microscopic the fourth point is the loading which means assignment of specific jobs to specific machine who will be responsible for which operation which machine will be under observation of who and who will be supervising that that we are going to decide in the loading for the purpose of completing each job by the specified date right it is the initiation of converting planning into practice till the time we have not assigned any duties to anyone we are just only planning scheduling gives the estimated dates it will define it will determine the time period by this particular time period we are going to complete the entire production of x units is required whereas the loading phase those dates that whether we will be able to go for it or not loading includes various steps which means finding out availability of various machines how many machines we have with us identifying the earliest date when the required hours can be utilized on given machine those machines can be required early as early as possible hum apna we can start with the production determining which operations to be assigned to which man and machine so that in case what will happen if we are not going to uh, perform this loading so there can be n number of employees say for example 10 employees are there and five machines are there so ascertain that two men are required at every machine similarly 
if we are if there is a requirement of one man per machine so we'll be leaving we'll be left with five people who are remaining idle for the entire time duration so the men are under utilized five people can be given another task to complete the execution process right so this particular loading process will determine the idleness of man and machinery so it will define the underloading and overloading concept right now by this we are completing the production planning as a whole production control it is just the implementation and execution of the production planning whatever we have decided in the previously discussed four steps estimating routing scheduling and then loading we are just going to implement it we are just going to execute whatever we have discussed in the four previous explained steps right so it is the implementation by coordinating different activities operations are con constantly evaluated right then we are going to guide and direct along the plans if there are deviations we are going to check we are going to verify and then we are going to guiding we are going for the directions as per the plans we have decided in the planning phase so now the two important concepts are production planning here pp and pc are interrelated which means pp here refers to production planning and pc here refers to production control so both the things are interrelated and interrelated in the sense if there is no production planning we cannot go for production control because there will be no benchmark right if there will be no production controlling there there will be no benefit of production planning things are on paper they are not being executed so both are interrelated interdependent on each other last point is very much important which talks about production planning serves as the basis of production control so production control can only be possible when you have a plan to check measuring the deviation we can only measure the variations and deviations if there is a benchmark so that benchmark is clearly mentioned in the production planning and the actual results are given taken out in during production control so production planning serves as the basis for production control right production control ensures that production planning is implemented as desired as we have decided during the production planning phase right so this is the meaning for production control production control can be defined as the task of coordinating manufacturing activities in accordance with the manufacturing plans so manufacturing plans here refers as all the process of production planning and that need to be coordinated with pre conceived schedules can be attained with economy and efficiency again diagrammatically i am trying to explain what we mean by production control so production planning we have completed production planning which means production planning all four are being completed till here and then as and when production planning will get over we will be continuing with the dispatching and then the last step is follow up or expediting right this first step during this production controlling is dispatching which means whatever we have decided in loading whatever uh, load of the assignment or assignment loading we have done we need to issue the formal orders to the department to the supervisor to the operators that which man is responsible for which particular machine which machine will be taking care of which particular task which department will be taking care of which particular machines which operations and by that particular time period everybody need to complete their or execute their orders right so this is the communication perspective this is dispatching means communicating to communicating in the formal order to the concerned departments and last one is when the things are being communicated to the departments to the supervisors to the operators then regular follow ups uh, need to be taken care which means uh, why we are doing this because we we are ensuring that work is done as per our plans what, what we mean by dispatching is there are various steps involved in planning which were very preparatory steps no actual work was taking place place only things on paper were being carried out it involves giving the necessary authority to start the work when you are officially communicating when you are officially dispatching the load to the concerned department to the authorities to the workers to the supervisors they'll start the work as and when they'll receive the orders so formal work orders and authorities are issued as per their priority to the shop floor 
to perform the work according to the plant sequence using prescribed tools and predetermined timetable or schedule now next one is your expediting which means follow ups ensuring that work is carried out as per plan whatever we have decided whatever plans we have communicated to the foreman to the department to the workers they need to carry out the work as per the plan ensuring the delivery date will be met the major objective of follow up is to control the variation so that there will be no variation between the planned and the actual work and how we can go for following up with the production control with the production process by watching or regularly watching the progress of work and in case there is a deviation we need to report the deviation to the concerned authorities and we need to take corrective action the department need to take corrective action expediting or follow up becomes is an important and integral part but it becomes more important if delay if there is a delay in supply of raw material if raw material has not been received at the shop floor and it is being delayed expediting becomes important if people are absent because of any emergency so lesser number of people will not be able to give the required output on due dates if any of the machine is break down if there is a fault in any of the machine so it can become a challenge to the production department and if there is change in specification and change in specification means whatever previous orders we have received now there is a slight change in the requirement then we need to expedite there is a change in the delivery dates earlier we were supposed to provide or complete the order by 31st of july but now the dates has been revised and now it's 15th of july there is a change in delivery dates then also expediting becomes important thank you everyone